Stand by. Welcome back to my Sega 12 conversion series. In this video, we'll be removing the existing fire control group and buttstock. Now with 922R compliance basics out of the way, we can get started with the pistol grip conversion. The first step is to take down the firearm. Remove the dust cover, the spring assembly, then slide the carrier to the rear and remove. Three screws hold the buttstock in place. Once those are removed, you can tap it out with a mallet. With the buttstock disassembled, you want to put the receiver in a vise and release the hammer. With a pair of needle nose pliers, lift the mainspring legs behind the hammer and use a twist tie to tie them together. I've seen a lot of guys that drill their Sega on a tabletop without mounting it and end up scratching the receiver all to hell. If you're like me, you're a perfectionist, you want to do this right, I've got good drill bits, I don't want the drill bit to jump out and scratch the receiver while I'm trying to knock these babies out. Now drill the two rivet pins that hold the old trigger group in place. Pliers will help. Drill to break the head with a 3 16 drill bit. I'm using cobalt drill bits. Then you can use a small punch or screwdriver to knock them out towards the left side. Going to reuse those. Do not lose the bolt hold open spring as you will use that as well as the two front access pins. You will reuse the bolt hold open lever, the bolt hold open spring, and the safety. And the safety, just flip it up and it comes right out. You can clean out the old trigger holes with your drill before proceeding. The plate is held in by three rivets. No new holes will need to be created. Using the same 3 16 drill bit, we'll drill out the rivets until the head breaks. The rivet head will pop off once broken. The rear rivet can be drilled through the trunnion hole. Now the old plate and trigger guard is removed. You can see that underneath side is bare metal, so what I'm going to do, since I'm not finishing the entire gun, or refinishing I should say, I'm just going to tape this off with some painter's tape and use some high temperature spray paint to cover that up, let it sit for a couple hours, then we'll come back and finish the pistol grip conversion. Alright, so we let our high temperature engine paint dry and you can see here it's a pretty good match. Now there is a little difference just because the uh, finish now is powder coated on the rest of the receiver versus underneath is just the spray paint but uh, again it's a pretty good color match. If you're curious it's Duplicolor's engine enamel low gloss black DE1634. So with that done now we can finish the rest of the pistol grip conversion. Thanks for watching part 2 of my Sega 12 conversion series. Click here to see part 3, which covers installation of the new fire control group. Please be sure to rate and comment on the video you just viewed. For more videos on guns, gear, bushcraft, and hunting, subscribe by clicking the channel icon. You can also see a link to my last video, as well as to my other social media. Make sure to like No More Op4 on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and see detailed posts on my blog. Thanks for subscribing to No More Op4's YouTube channel.